We are back here on Lines on Design. Our show today is Trash or Treasure. MC has joined us and we are talking about, well, trash or treasure. I don't know. I'm looking around this fabulous house and all I see are treasures. And you keep trying to convince me that some of these pieces are old pieces that you just decided to keep. Talk to me a little bit about the fantastic pieces that we're going to show. I saw your kitchen. It's amazing. I saw the mantelpiece. It's amazing. Matthew did all of this. He painted. I saw the bar. Love it. Talk to me about your coffee table. Well, that was originally what got Matthew here, was I was getting new floors, and I had a brown coffee table, and I went out and looked at other coffee tables. Uh -huh. I could not find anything that I liked, as well as what I had, the size, the shape. And so I said, well, can you do something with it? Because mm -hmm. I didn't want a brown table on a brown floor. I hear you. And he said, oh, I can do that. I can make that look great. <laughs> and he did. It looks fabulous. I love it. You're trying to throw we, things away, and he's like, oh, hell no. We're going to keep these things. You know, and my husband said, oh, well, we've got another table in Miami we could bring up. I said, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. no we're not going to trash up the whole place with all kinds of stuff. This actually fits perfectly with couches and the whole configuration of the room. So let's let's work with Matthew on this. And it, I can be happy with it. I tell you, d were you surprised at how um, a can of paint and a little imagination can really create magic? I mean, it the place is amazing. I'm, I just can't tell you how pleased I am with the stuff that Matthew's mm -hmm. done for us. Did you come in with a vision, or would you rely on Matthew to show you different pieces or finishes, or did you just at some point say, go for it? A lot of that. Yeah. A lot of just letting Matthew tell us what to do. I mean, we were in the process of renovating the apartment to a certain extent, mm -hmm. and I kept thinking we needed to have these pillars here white, white. And Matthew said, no, mm. no, 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 no. They have to be darker than the the top part. And so he came up with the color. Yes, he helped save the whole room, actually. I depended on him for a lot. And then Tom wanted to stop the... Tom, your husband. Mm -hmm. Wanted to stop the wood floors near the front door and have some of the tile remain. And I said, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't listen to me on that. But if Matthew said it... Right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh <laughs> all right. I, well, isn't that... Yeah, the, I guess so. Yeah, isn't you're that right. the truth? And we're talking about how you can take an older piece of furniture and, and even in the kitchen, you put new hardware on that you picked out that I thought just made everything look completely up to date. Yeah, it really looks... I, I can be happy with the kitchen. When you were talking about, as I've taken a tour through the house, we're talking about trash or treasure, and we're talking about taking old pieces and really... Um, repurposing them and I think t in today's world it's cost effective cost effective makes a lot of sense but I promise you it looks as good if not better than some new pieces you have a fun little piece um, well first I want to talk about the the desk that was an old piece we had oh. we bought that many many years ago I think at uh, well it was Burdines at the uh -huh. time now yeah it's I remember Burdines yeah and uh, it was a Pulaski piece and it was quite colorful. It okay. had a beige background. It had like colorful designs on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, it had seen its day. Mm -hmm. And Tom said, well, why don't we just get a black desk? And I went out and I looked about at black desks. You found I an saw, antique you saw too, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and he said, well, that looks good. Why don't we get that? And I said, well, wait a minute. That has basically the same lines as what we already have, those kind of French legs. Yes. And we'll let Matthew work on that. Oh, that's so funny. And I left Matthew. We were in Miami when Matthew did it, and we came back, and it was all done, and we just loved it. Well, Tom's so proud of it. When we came in, it was like, you've got to see this. I tell you, it looks like an antique reproduction. It's absolutely beautiful. Were you surprised by it, too? Um, you know what? I really wasn't surprised mm -hmm. because I know Matthew. Mm -hmm. So I know that whatever I give to Matthew to do, it's going to be done beautifully well, and and he's he's done that we sent him to miami to do our kitchen oh did you really yeah now talk to me about the little home goods piece because i thought that was an adorable piece that you you found cute but not only did he just paint the piece he really used his imagination and he decided to do the inside of it black mm -hmm. so it wasn't just all one color he actually changed changed it so it would be different he actually did that in Miami as well. Oh, did he really? I have lighted cabinets, you know, in the corners of my kitchen with glass doors. Yeah, yeah. He said, oh, you know, that would look so nice if it was silver in there. Mm -hmm. And the 
color picked up with the with the lighting, oh. you would never find that anywhere. No one would ever think to do that. Well, Everybody would have just painted the whole thing exactly. the same color. Not Matthew. He actually thought to do the silver inside and it really does make a big difference. One of the things I noticed when I walked in was technology. There's a lot of cool technology around here, big TVs. And you've got a piece over here that's holding one of the larger TVs that I think is really cool. Now, is that, that's not a Matthew. Is that a Matthew? Only the top is a Matthew because we bought a this Matthew. enormous, we've, we've we bought our enormous yes. television uh -huh. set, okay. like a drive-in in here. Right. <laughs> it's very comfortable. Uh -huh. We're very comfortable here. Uh -huh. but. I had this television stand, and I went out. I was going to buy a new stand. Right. Well, you know, they're all kind of ugly. <laughs> I like it. Yep. And um, my husband said, well, why don't we just put a board on top of it? And Matthew kind of I camouflaged the top so that... It doesn't look like a board it doesn't, on top. It doesn't look like a board. It looks like it all works together, and it's perfect because it really is the right size mm -hmm. for the area. If I put in something larger... Correct. It would be too crowded over there. Well, it's not funny for it's me as crowded, well, no, it's funny for me as a designer. That was one of the first thing I noticed because it's hard for me to find media centers to put these big TVs oh, on. Oh, they're so ugly. And I was like, where in the world? And then when you were telling me about it, I'm like, uh huh. So uh, you talk about a treasure. And I like that we branded the Matthew. That was a Matthew. You got yeah, a, any a other math? Any other the Matthews in there? Ooh, I know one that we didn't talk about before in the kitchen that I absolutely love is I looked up, and again, talking about attention to detail, he's got, it's like a silver yes. banding or That race. was a drop ceiling, oh. which were so popular in the 80s. Yes. And, and what do you do? You can't rip out the whole right. ceiling to make it level. And Matthew came up with that whole idea of trimming the inside of the lighting wow. area with the legs on the mm -hmm. post. You know, for me, it's a, a lot of layering in design today. And, and I'm talking about, you know, floors and then rugs or um, actually some of the finishes. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of visual interest that goes into it. And when I walked into your kitchen, I think that was one of the first things that I noticed is that wherever I looked, it looked very detailed, very finished. Is that something that, that was important to you all too? Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. And, and Matthew was smart enough to come up with it. I mean, I, I know what I like, uh -huh. but I don't know how to get there. Mm -hmm. And Matthew really helped direct us in the right way. Are you a collector of things? Because I, I see you've got two adorable pups that are real, but I also see some really fantastic collectibles in here. We, when we travel, we always like to bring home a piece of wherever we've been. Oh, so, that's cool. You know, those things were, we bought those in Europe and, mm -hmm. and we just brought them home and, you know, and now I have all kinds of that stuff that of course nobody wants. Oh, <laughs> now don't, no, it's a, they are treasures. And I think what's fun, and one of the reasons I was excited to talk to you today is again, I think what your home represents here, it's got so much personality. I think just, again, from a psychological point of view, I think I could paint a really kind of fun, interesting picture of you with your kids and new grandbabies oh, yes. based on some of the things that you've chosen. And, and again, talk about treasures, yes. Thank you for joining us. We want to thank, thank all you. of you for joining us here on Lines on Design. It's always fun, but it's especially fun when we can come into someone's home and take a sneak peek into their life. Again, MC, thank you for joining us. Thank you all. It's always a privilege to come into someone's home and really learn a little bit about them. And I think coming into MC's home today, we've learned quite a lot about lifestyle, about personality, about treasures, and what they really look like. Again, thank you very much for joining us. It's always a pleasure to sneak inside someone's house and really see how they live. It has been a pleasure today to talk with Matthew and talk about art and how art is a therapeutic process and really can define someone like you, but also give joy to a lot of people that get to uh, participate in it. For example, the pieces that you've done today, just listening to the owners talk about how now these are these pieces are their center of attention. They feel great. We want to thank all of you for joining us here on Lines on Design. As always, it's a pleasure to have you.